Welcome back everybody and we're gonna have a look at discovering dinosaurs flying monsters from Michael Benton all the way from 2006 hmm. discovering dinosaurs that might that, that may be the actual series of the books I'm guessing because obviously um, dinosaurs are not flying obviously they're in their own um genre as you know flying monsters or pterosaurs or whatever so first of all no copyright intended all artwork belongs to their owners and i'll be reviewing the book we'll have a look at the book this is more of a children's book i've never owned this i did pick it up at a thrift store so let's have a have a look at this. All right, got a little pterosaur there. It's got a nice picture at the front of various species doing their thing. All right, let's continue. So 2006, this is the index. Uh, yeah, definitely a children's book. So, but really nice artwork. It's a bit hard to see, but some really nice pictures there. I'll try and bring them closer. So we've got first birds. Rise of the Petro Swords. What I like here is they've got the the size. Oh, it's good. It even teaches you how to say the names. Like that top one. There's no way I could pronounce that. You do more Odon. You die more Don. You do more Odon. That's good. Something I've could have learned as a kid. And some of my, of my books did have that, but I still didn't learn. So even though this is a children's book, I do like the artwork and that kind of reminds me of the 90s artwork. And look at this little cutie. Look how small it is. How cute. Cute little fish. Fish eating, Domaphrodon, some of people's most favorite. All right, what's this? Got, I uh, cannot pronounce this famous guy. Uh, I'm gonna try and pronounce his name, all anyway, right? Ram for Hycus, Ram for Hycus, Ram for Hycus. Jeez, when you look, some of these w names are so hard to pronounce. Anyway, for me, anyway, I've always struggled with the names as a kid. That's a famous, was it an early Jurassic or Triassic Petrosaur? Can't remember, I know it's an early one. But it was pretty popular, like in the 80s. But it doesn't seem to get enough love these days. Pretty cool with the tail. One of these short leaf petrosaurs. Hmm. So we've got some better skull and stuff. Crest heads. Also, the good thing about this book. There's species in here that I've never even heard of before, like this one. What's its name? Galodictheus. Never heard of that petrosaur before. I mean, pterosaur. Fish trappers. Yeah, nice. 
this artwork. They're doing their thing. Fairy flyers. So you see, oh, these are good. Yeah. Winged petrosaur. So we're getting to some bigger guys now. And they're getting a bit more funky with the head crests, I guess. Yeah, this guy, I remember this guy freaked me out as a kid, like it just didn't make sense. Right, look at that. For a beak. Alright, we've got the giants now. Got Pranodon. And looks like one of his relatives. Got a bit of a different head crest. So great artwork because they're actually showing the, the animals doing things, you know, they're in action. Which is really good. Kotsukoatlas. And that's it. 32 pages. Quite a short book. So, even though it's not the biggest book, it's a, it's a small book, um, more for kids, but that works really good and got some unique species in there. So, I would have definitely would have loved to own this as a kid. And I like to see, I like seeing books when they're a bit more specialized to a specific type of species. So, this one is, it's kind of short, but sweet. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed having a look at this book with me. If you do see it at an op shop or at a, at a bookstore, second-hand bookstore, it's worth picking up. I reckon it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice little book. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time.